What's up guys? So, as you probably heard at the beginning of February, Nintendo has cancelled their shows that they were apparently making with Netflix, namely a stop motion Star Fox show and a live action Legend of Zelda show. And they cancelled it because of a leak, which in my opinion is pretty dumb. And if you ask me, I don't really think that it's the end of the road for these shows, and let me tell you why. I think that them getting cancelled could actually end up being a good thing. Whether you're indifferent like I am or if you were super excited about it, honestly I think that Nintendo is just cancelling them so that they can renegotiate a deal with Netflix to either get these shows for cheaper or to maybe even get another show pushed into their deal. And even if they don't end up going back with Netflix, they could just take these shows and throw it at either Amazon Prime or Hulu or HBO and even get a better deal out of it. And I could end up being wrong about all of this, but I honestly do think that it would be such a waste if Nintendo just ended up scrapping all of it and refusing to work with any streaming service, period. Because despite the fact that I'm not the biggest fan about the concept of the Star Fox or the Zelda show, I am still very excited about what this could possibly mean and open up the doors to. Because if both of these shows do extremely well, then that could open up opportunities to do more Zelda stories, more Star Fox stories, and even other franchises like Fire Emblem and Metroid. And as I said earlier, I am indifferent about the Star Fox and Zelda concepts, because I'm not really a huge fan of claymation. The only stop motion claymation stuff that I've liked is Wallace and Gromit, Shaun the Sheep, and The Nightmare Before Christmas. But hey, if that's something that you're excited about, don't let me rain on your parade. It's just that I think an animated version of a Star Fox show would work a lot better. It would be sleeker and more cinematic. I feel like the fight scenes would look a lot better. But given that it's inspired by the fantastic Mr. Fox, I'm not really sure if fight scenes would end up happening anyways. But hey, if it ends up doing really well, they may just end up doing an animated version of it as well. And speaking of animated, let's talk about the show that I wish was animated which is The Legend of Zelda Show. Honestly, I just don't think that a live-action Zelda series would work at all. A lot of the elements of this world, I just don't see translating very well. And with Zelda and Link, I don't think that you can get an actor or actress that will look good in the part. Unless we went with more of the Breath of the Wild look for the both of them. But with some of the casting rumors that have happened in the past, I just keep trying to imagine Tom Holland as Link, and it just doesn't look good. But I mean, hey, at the end of the day, maybe they could end up pulling it off. I mean, they did it perfectly fine with Pokemon. But I'm just very worried because of how much I love the Zelda franchise, and I just want what's best for it, honestly. And though I'm not super crazy about either of these shows, I am extremely excited that Nintendo is looking to to branch out into doing more than just games. Like prime example, the Detective Pikachu movie and even the Mario movie that they're supposedly working on. I know that not all of the franchises that they have will work on the big screen, so I am happy that they are looking to work with streaming services for shows of the lesser known franchises like Star Fox and even the weirder concepts like Zelda. And some things that I am looking forward to if all of this goes well is a live action Game of Thrones-esque Fire Emblem series. I think that Fire Emblem is a perfect game to make an entire show out of because there is an obscene amount of lore to this game. And there are so many time periods that we haven't even had fully fleshed out. And something that I would like to see is them take the Three Houses story and fully flesh that out by showing us the battles that we don't personally experience as Byleth. And maybe they could even show us firsthand what happens in between the five years that Byleth goes missing. And even if you aren't a fan of the Three Houses games, there is still so much lore that this show could cover. Another thing that I would like to see covered is the first Holy War era of the game. Especially since we have yet to get a localized version of this game. And honestly, I could continue talking about a hypothetical Fire Emblem show for ages, but I'm going to cut it off right there. And some other franchises that I would like to see developed into their own shows are Pikmin, Pokemon, and Metroid. Now, personally, I think Pikmin would be really fun as a little series of shorts, similar to how Spongebob was back in the day. And for Pokemon, as I mentioned in this video here, I think in the sequel of Detective Pikachu, they should introduce introduce some other characters from the games into the live-action Pokemon franchise, like Red for example, or even any other protagonist to be honest, and this show could work as a spin-off to the movie that runs parallel to the franchise, similar to how Disney is with the Marvel TV shows. And if you're interested in what I have to say about any potential spin-offs, make sure to check out that video that I just mentioned.
And with Metroid, I would love to see a movie for Metroid, but I genuinely don't feel like Metroid is a big enough game to make its money back if it was made into a movie. Especially if that movie was live action, but I also wouldn't be disappointed if it ended up being a show on a streaming service. Now, if you guys have any opinions on these shows being cancelled, or if you have any specific game in mind, or even a few franchises you want to see Nintendo develop into a show or a movie, let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.